Hey, I've got a big smile for you out there today. John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer. This is sonnet number 1,000. I've got 1,270 sonnets, but I wanted this one to be special. Why? Because these are very special people I'm writing about. My daughter, Terry Lynn, and her wonderful husband. They started with nothing. He got through law school. He's in a wheelchair. He's the bravest man I know. He got his doctorate. She got her doctorate. And they're very successful. They're hardworking. And all they do all day long is help people. And I like this sonnet because, I don't know, you guys out there, you got to write things for your family. Write about people you love. Don't take them for granted. And the name of this sonnet is Sir Brett John and Rose Terry Lynn Pisa. Synergy personified. Those two together. Two geniuses working together. A romance for the ages. Love from heaven. See Sir Brett John Pisa and my rose daughter, Terry Lynn. They meet and paradise results. A true love to rival all others. Sweet ambrosia's Exotic elixir, drink deeply, Elysia Spring. Marriage is a holy sacrament. It's an oath. God resides within its union. Pleased are the angels above to see such sweet, holy passion. You can be happy with thousands, yet there is only one soulmate. True destiny, the male Beshert, the maiden Besherta of fate. Gallant Sir Brett has been chair-bound for 33 agonizing years. And I wrote this four years ago, so the numbers need to be updated. But he's been in a chair-bound, and he's done miraculous things. He's so brave. He's a highly competent student of the law. Super courage, no tears. I've never heard him complain. A marriage of 28 years, strong fidelity, a truly committed pair, committed to each other. A true bridge of synergy. Two geniuses wedded, a heavenly affair. Sir Brett John, he earned a Juris Doctorate a courtroom gladiator. Rose Terry Lynn, she earned her doctorate. She's the Pisa family anchor. You will never meet a more hardworking, fantastic, loving couple. True romance, a rose garden of happiness, victors over trouble. I know his dad, Sir John Pisa, he's in heaven. And I know he's bursting with pride over his son. So near is Brett's beloved father's holy angel's golden son. Brett John's wonderful mother, Rosalind, she's in heaven too. And yet she still adores her heroic brave son. Let the whole noble Pisa lineage revel in glory and celebration. A personal injury law firm, truly helping the desperately maimed. They help people all day long. They walk into the office there and they're in trouble. They had an accident. They can't work. They don't have a car. They, they can't make their mortgage. And my son-in-law and my daughter take care of them. It's miraculous what they do for these people. Helping people all day long. All injurious tragedies are boldly rectified, resolved legal claims. My beautiful Rose daughter, Terry Lynn, and Sir Brett John Esquire, Juris Doctorate. They try to help all people around them, saints to be truly admired. I've always adored my sweet Rose daughter, angelic from her birth, high honor and great privilege to be the happiest father on earth. That's me. I have to smile when I think about them. They're such wonderful people. 
she could not have wed anyone smarter, braver, or more heroic. Happy has she made me all of my life. Her marriage is majestic. A romance for all eternity, enduring, solid, true love, resplendent. Romance, brilliant, dazzling, gloriously bright, heaven sent. Dancing for happy with their daughter, Carmen Renee, a bundle of joy, a blessed event. And I'm telling you, this sonnet, I wrote it uh, September the 7th, 2015. I think of them every day. They're the nicest people I know. My own mother was a saint. My daughter's a saint. How do you live up to that? It's hard, but I'm honored and privileged. And so are you out there. People in your own family, you've got to honor them. Please, I'm asking you, I'm beseeching you, I'm begging you, sit down and write something from your heart about your family. Family's everything, everything. And you got to believe that. And you guys out there, sit on and write. And you're going to say you can't do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's just a matter of putting it down on paper. Because it's in your head. It's in your heart. And that's all you need. Hey, God bless us, everyone. Ja'ala pour vous. Au revoir. Du gardez-vous.